Hey there future international students, are you dreaming of studying in New Zealand but worried about your student visa application getting rejected? Well, you are in the right place. In today's video, we are going to dive deep into the top tips to avoid New Zealand student visa refusal. Stick around until the end for some insider advice that could make all the difference in your application. First things first, let's talk about choosing the right course and institution. This might seem obvious, but you would be surprised how many applications get rejected because of a mismatch between the student's academic background and the course they have chosen. New Zealand immigration authorities are keen to see that you have chosen your course which aligns with your previous education or work experience. This shows that you are serious about your studies and not just using the student visa as a backdoor entry into the country. Do your research and pick a course that not only interests you but also complements your past studies or career goals. And don't forget to choose an institution that's recognized by the New Zealand Qualifications Authority which is also called as NZQA. This ensures that the course is credible and meets the necessary standards. Moving on to our next tip, providing accurate and complete documentation. This is one of the most critical aspects of your visa application. Any inconsistencies or missing information can lead to a straight up rejection. Make sure you have all the required documents in order, including your passport, offer of place from a New Zealand institution, evidence of funds, medical certificates and English language proficiency test results like IELTS or TOEFL. Double check everything before submitting. Organize your documents logically and be ready to provide additional information if requested by the immigration office. Remember, transparency is the key. Transparency is the key. I'll repeat, transparency and honesty is the key. So, next, let's talk about money. One of the main reasons for visa refusals is the failure to demonstrate that you have enough funds to cover your tuition and living expenses in New Zealand. New Zealand immigration requires you to show proof that you have enough money to support yourself while studying. This includes tuition fees, living costs and any dependents you might bring along. You will need to provide recent bank statements or financial documents that clearly show you have the funds available. And here's a pro tip. Avoid any large unexplained deposits in your bank account before applying. In fact, right before applying. This could raise red flags and lead to further scrutiny of your finances. Next up is your statement of purpose or SOP. This document is your chance to explain why you want to study in New Zealand, why you have chosen your specific course and institution and how this aligns with your future career goals. Your SOP should be clear, concise and well structured. Be genuine in your writing and avoid using generic statements. Explain how studying in New Zealand fits into your overall career plan and what you hope to achieve with your education there. This helps the visa officer see your intent and commitment to returning to your home after your studies. Remember, your SOP is your voice in the application process. So make your voice count. Tip number five, meet health and character requirements. New Zealand has strict health and character standards for visa applicants to ensure the safety and well-being of its residents. You will need to undergo a medical examination and obtain a PCC, which is a police clearance certificate from your home country. If you have any medical conditions, be upfront about them and provide all necessary documentation. Similarly, if you have had any run-ins with the law, disclose them with explanations. It's better to be transparent than to have issues surface later in the process. Before hitting that submit button, take the time to double check your entire application. One small mistake can lead to a delay or even a refusal. Go over every detail from your personal information to your course details, financial statements and supporting documents. Make sure everything is accurate and up to date. If you are unsure about anything, don't hesitate to seek help from an education consultant or an advisor like us. Our final tip is perhaps the most important. Be honest and transparent throughout the entire process. Trying to hide information or provide false documents is a surefire way to get your visa refused. Immigration authorities are trained to spot inconsistencies and discrepancies. If you are caught providing false information, 
not only will your visa be refused but you could also face a ban from entering new zealand in the future just like other countries like canada us etc etc so always be truthful and upfront in your application and there you have it folks those are your top tips to avoid new zealand student visa refusal by following these guidelines you will significantly increase your chances of a successful application if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to sunshine fortunes education for more tips and advice on studying abroad if you have any questions drop them in the comment below and i'll be sure to get back to you on the same good luck with your application and i'll see you in the next video may god bless you i wish you a very happy learning